I want to welcome you to the Golden Ball Tavern Museum. This is an opportunity to invite you to come and learn. We've been very fortunate to have Linda Wiseman work with us for many years, helping us make the decisions that help flesh out the story that we tell here at the museum. It has been a wonderful ride to go through the years of working at this house. And we, of course, are the beneficiaries of all of this. Please join us at the Golden Ball Tavern Museum. We are now in the parlor at the front of the house at the Golden Ball, and this was family, formal parlor, in contrast to the tap room that was across the entryway. Um, the first thing that we should look at is the carpet, and once again we went to the inventory that was taken at Isaac's death, and when he died this carpet was worth $12.50. Those days, that is a lot of money. So once again, we went back to Wintertour and Williamsburg to talk to the textile departments to find out exactly what type of a carpet would be in this room. Wintertour Museum is in Wilmington, Delaware, and it is the America's premier decorative arts museum with the finest American furniture and decorative arts in the country. And we learned that, yes, indeed, it would be baseboard to baseboard, which in the 20th century terms is wall to wall, and that it was an ingrain carpet design, which we had made by classical revival carpets in Boston. It is a copy of a carpet that was found in Sturbridge, and it is circa 18.1 to 10. We knew that these chairs were going to be hand wrought seat, that means hand done. And um, we got the design from Susan Swan, her research and samples at Winter Tour, and three ladies in Weston each took a chair and designed the seats going according to the 18th century design. The next thing I want to talk about is the secretary bookcase, which is in the manner of Benjamin Frothingham, a 18th century cabinet maker from Charleston. And we think that it was original to the house and it was sold away from the house in the 1890s. And in the 20th century, it came back. So it's kind of a wonderful, another story of returning to the tavern. And the last thing I want to talk about is the walls. And before Mr. Gambrell died, he had done research on the walls to determine whether there was wallpaper or plaster. And it was determined by the plaster that it was wallpapered and we researched and uh, have co copied as near to possible the what might have been here. And it is done in squares, which was done that way in the early 19th century. And as was very fashionable at this time, the wallpaper has a border which goes around all the edges of the paper. So you have it surrounding the doors, you have it surrounding the wainscoting, and you have it surround, uh, lowering uh, the top of the ceiling. So you now see a real picture of the way the people in that period did their walls. <laughs>